Hi, welcome to your next episode of the Amber Tree Wellness TV, your weekly dose of health and well-being. How are you going today? The topic I'm going to talk about today is two of my most favourite foods, particularly when they're mixed together, chocolate and coconut oil. So when I'm talking about chocolate, what type of chocolate am I talking about? I'm not actually talking about the stuff you get in the supermarkets. It's got a, milk and a, a glass and a half of dairy milk chocolate in it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real chocolate, cacao, the actual bean, the raw chocolate. Raw chocolate is so healthy for you. It is full of so many great nutrients. It's full of antioxidants, magnesium, and so much more. It's actually a superfood. Who'd ever guess chocolate's a superfood and we need to be eating more of it? Just not the commercial processed. The stuff that you buy in the supermarket is quite often very high in sugar, it's got fats, it's got other chemicals in it, and generally you can actually tell the difference between good quality and poor quality chocolate, and life is way too short to be eating poor quality chocolate. But you can actually make your own chocolate and it is really, really easy. The other ingredient, coconut oil. Now coconut oil, despite all the bad pressure, is actually really, really healthy for you. Yes, it is a saturated fat, it's very high in saturated fat, but it's actually one of the healthiest saturated fats that you can actually consume. It has so many health benefits. And the interesting part of the saturated fat within coconut oil is it has a chemical known as lauric acid. Now lauric acid actually stops the fats within coconut oil being absorbed by the body. The nutrients are utilized and the body actually gets rid of what it doesn't want. So it actually doesn't store fat around the stomach, around the butt, anything like that. So coconut oil, coconut oil doesn't make you fat. Actually, what coconut oil does, it actually helps you burn up more fat because it's metabolically active. So there's no reason why you can't be having coconut oil. And if you want coconut milk or coconut cream, go for it, but definitely don't do the low fat. Have a curry with the full cream, the full fat, because that is really, really healthy for you. Coconut oil also kills off the bad bacteria within your gut, so it has another effect there as well. So don't be afraid of coconut oil. You can also use it as a substitute for butter. Mind you, butter, there's nothing wrong with butter, but if you want, you can use coconut oil as a substitute for butter. There's so many things you can use it for. You can cook for it with it because it's actually a high heat oil, so you can actually cook with it as well. I make my popcorn with it, so when I pop corn for my kids, I use coconut oil to pop it. it gives it a really nice flavor. So, what are we doing? We've got raw cacao, and I use it as a powder. You can buy raw cacao powder. You can actually also um, get them as chocolate wafers, so raw cacao wafers, and you can get nibs and things like that. So, easiest way to do it is raw cacao powder with some coconut oil, mix it all together. You can put a little bit of sweetener, so stevia, a little bit of maple syrup in there, just to sweeten it up a bit, because it is very, very bitter. We're talking 100% chocolate here. So it is bitter. So generally for most people, you'll need some sweetening. And if you like, you can add one to two drops of peppermint oil to give it a minty flavor. But there's so many things you can do with it. And on the page where, on our, my blog, I'm actually going to put some um, links to some recipes that I've got that you can actually use um, raw chocolate and they are so, so yummy. Do recommend you always keep them in the fridge because they will melt really quickly. I keep mine in the freezer, two reasons. One is the kids can't find them, and two, I like my stuff really, really cold, and it just melts down, it's really nice. But hopefully you enjoyed that, so you don't need to be afraid of chocolate, you just need to be eating the right type, and coconut oil is so healthy for you. If you've got any questions or you want more information on what I can tell you about coconut oil or chocolate, please ask down below, and as I said, on the blog page where this video is sitting, there's actually some links to some, um, some recipes, so try them out. Until next week when I come back with your next episode of the Ambitree Wellness TV, I'll see you then. Bye.